Welcome to the Muscle Building Mastery Podcast, where guys that want to build muscle come to learn how to do it properly. We understand that there's more to building muscle than mindlessly throwing weights around and chugging mass gainer shakes. We're not interested in quick fixes or anabolic assistance. We're interested in mastering the art, science and skill set required to stack on real muscle and strength. My name's Andy Clements and for the last 12 years I've devoted my life to figuring out how guys like us who don't have amazing genetics, don't have five hours a day to spend in the gym and don't want to take steroids as a shortcut can build insane amounts of muscle and strength in weeks and months, not years and decades. This podcast is the result of all the lessons I've learned along the way and it will give you the blueprint to building more muscle in less time. To get you started, head to www.musclebuildingmastery.net to download your free six-week workout plan. Hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to episode 50 of the Muscle Building Mastery Podcast. My name's Andy Clements, and today I want to do a little bit of a different episode. I want to talk about why um, it's important that you're not a bodybuilder and it's important you realize that you're not a bodybuilder. Uh, but before I get into that, what I want to just quickly mention, I'm not going to spend too much on this, but I wanted to mention it because it's a really, really cool thing that I've got, um, is a brand new course called Training Mastery that I've just re-released. Um, and you can find that by heading to musclebuildingmastery.net forward slash training mastery. And um, basically, This course is the culmination of the last 12 years of my life and um, it's essentially a step-by-step guide on how to train from being a complete beginner who doesn't know what they're doing in the gym um, all the way up to the most advanced athlete that I know how to take somebody to. Um, So if you are anywhere between a complete newbie or all the way up to pretty advanced um, lifter, and even if you are a relatively advanced lifter, you can still get a lot out of this, um, then I would highly recommend checking out musclebuildingmastery.net forward slash training mastery, because there is a lot that you can get out of that course. So um, that's what I'm going to mention. I'm going to leave it at that. And um, I'm going to get stuck into this episode because I want to focus on today talking about this concept that you're not a bodybuilder. And that's a good thing. Okay. So there's a lot of bodybuilding podcasts out there and there's a lot of podcasts that um, cover, you know, how to be competitive bodybuilders and, you know, go in like really, really far with all this stuff. Um, And what I want to do is I want to kind of address people that um, are interested in building muscle, but aren't necessarily interested in getting the budgie smugglers on and getting on stage, right? Like, like, that's cool. That's good for some people, but we just kind of want to build muscle. We just kind of want to take them those first steps, right? So what I want to um, relate this back to for a minute here is <sighs> lately I've been kind of reassessing what's important to me in my life. Um, and this um, kind of runs more into a like professional sense rather than a personal sense in the gym. But um, this this is something that I've been I've been sort of battling with for um, a few weeks now is I've been running my online coaching business and while I've been really really enjoying helping people what I've been battling with a lot is how I can have the most impact and how I can get the most out of what I'm doing in terms of impacting the most people in the best way okay so I know that I've got a lot of knowledge I know that I've got a lot of skills that can help people to achieve things that they want to achieve in the area of muscle building and fat loss and fitness and that whole area of health in general but um, with my coaching business, it's a very one-to-one, very time-consuming thing, right? So I can have a really big impact on these people, but it's only a very small um, net of people. So what I was reassessing and, and, and thinking about over the last few weeks is why I've taken a bit of a break from the podcast, is uh, what I ended up doing was switching back to this kind of one-to-many approach as opposed to a one-to-one approach. So I'm still taking on a few clients and I'm having this small knit group of coaching clients. But what I'm focusing on now is getting the best quality online products available so that people can buy it at a more affordable rate, right? That's why I'm talking about the whole training mastery uh, online course that I've put out because that's the first product that I'm putting out there to help people to get the formula. You know, they might not get the personalized little tidbits that you would get from a coach, but the overall formula so they can learn and they can not make the mistakes that I made over years 
that's much more meaningful to me in terms of being able to have an impact on a, a, a wide range of people. And that's also how I learned, you know, I went and I bought all these different online courses and I went to these seminars and I had these qualifications. And, you know, it was very, very rare that I got personalized approach from people. I went and sort of learned it off my own back. And so I feel like that's the best way that I want to teach as well. So that's a bit of a, um, uh, you know, a little bit of a, a changing gears for me professionally and it took a little bit of courage for me to do that because I was you know I was I was plowing down this coaching path and um you know knowing deep down that it didn't quite sit right with me now that's one area and there's another area lately which again running a, a podcast called muscle building mastery almost makes me a bit hesitant to mention this but to be completely transparent and just honest and and maybe this is something that makes a few people out there feel a little bit better knowing that I go through this too is have, having lately been a little bit demotivated for training now this happens to everybody now I don't care who you are you're not always going to be motivated and up for the gym every single time but lately because I've been following obviously not the exact same training program but the same style of training for the last four or five years now in a row it's been getting a little bit stale lately the last few months have been getting a little bit you know um not so exciting as they were uh, maybe a year or two ago. Um, and so, you know, I've just kind of been going through the motions to a certain extent. So again, this is another thing that I've reassessed lately and I've kind of thought, well, you know, I don't have to follow the exact same style I've always followed. So what I'm considering now is following a little bit of a, a different kind of style, going back to some kind of basic primal movements and doing a lot more interval training and doing all these different kind of things, which still try and tick as many of the muscle building boxes as I can, but get the fire back in my belly and get the enjoyment back. And this is the whole point that I'm trying to make with this episode, right? The most important part of this whole thing is how much you can get out of it, right? Are you enjoying it? Are you actually enjoying the process? Because if the process is a drag, if the process is, you know, making your life miserable, then what are you doing it for, man? You know, it's not about that. This should be an enjoyable, positive, life-affirming process, um, you know, if that, that you're doing to improve your life. It's not something that you're doing to punish yourself. Yeah, we all want to look good. Yeah, we, we all want the confidence to go with it. We all want the, um, you know, the, the physique that we're, we're working for. Uh, and we all want to build the muscle, build the strength, lose the fat, have that beach body, all that sort of stuff. But, you know, if the process is not enjoyable, then I would argue that it's not worth it in the first place. So, this is the whole point that I want to make with this episode. I want to make the fact that because you're not a bodybuilder, that gives you a hell of a lot of freedom to um, kind of relax and have some fun with your training. You know, if you're a bodybuilder, there's a certain amount of pressure on you. If you're a competitive or professional athlete or bodybuilder, then there's a certain amount of pressure on you to look a certain way. And there's a little bit less flexibility that you can have with your training style and with your eating style and with, you know, the times you've got to bed and all the, sort of, all, all the different things that go into building a great physique. Um you've got much less room to play around with it. Um, but having this realisation that you're not a competitive athlete, that you're just you're just a kind of a, a, an average person that wants to build a better physique, that gives you so much more freedom to enjoy the process. So if something's not doing it for you, if something's you know making your life a little bit miserable, if there's a certain way of training or a certain thing that you're doing that you're just not enjoying, you can't get the hang of it or you just you don't enjoy doing it, then I would urge you to look for a different way. There are so many different ways to get to the same result, which is, you know, what we're, what we're doing this for in the first place. So the, the, the key is to find the balance between something that works and something that you enjoy, something that gets you to where you want to go, which obviously if you listen to this podcast is something to do with muscle building or something to do with fat loss, something to do with building strength or fitness or some kind of physical improvement. Uh, but balance that with a way of training, a way of eating, a way of living that suits you, suits your lifestyle and suits your preferences. Otherwise, what's the point? Honest to God, what is the point? It's no point whatsoever in you going ahead and making your life miserable 
just to get to a goal. Because when you get to that goal, you're not one going to do what it takes to maintain it. You've just not. So that's the overall arching point. I, can, I guess I'm kind of making myself clear here, but it shouldn't be a drag. It shouldn't be... Um, something that you're constantly demotivated for now obviously like i said earlier there will be days no matter what you're doing where you're just naturally not as up for it as you are on other days you're gonna have some days where you feel a bit tired you're gonna have some days where you don't feel like you want to do what you have set out to do and that's okay that's normal but when that ends up being more often than not then you know that's a sign that you need to readdress things it's not a sign that you should give up it's not a sign that you're not you just don't want it enough or you don't um have what it takes to do it that's a common misconception and i don't want you to start blaming yourself or thinking that you know you're there's something wrong with you because you don't feel motivated if you're going through a phase where you don't feel motivated right now what i'm saying is maybe it's a case that you should have a little look at changing the way that you do things and this is kind of again i don't want to go off on a tangent or start you know naming names or anything because there's nobody i've got in mind but i know that there's a, a a big sort of faction of the fitness industry coaches that kind of blame the clients when they're not enjoying the process you know instead of looking for a um a different way of doing things that works for the client that works for the person they're working with and helps them to enjoy it they end up blaming the person for not enjoying it themselves they say well you know this is the way that you need to do things so you better suck it up and sometimes that is the case but more often than not there's a different way that you can get to the same goal so what I want to say to you is if you're not enjoying things right now, then look at a different way to get there. Um, you know, like I'm doing with my training, I'm changing things up. I'm still keeping the basics the same. I'm still keeping the non-negotiable things the same, but I'm going to change things up in a way that I find a little bit more enjoyable. Um, that goes for both um, business wise, where I'm producing, creating more content and putting more courses out there to help more people. Um, so I, I, I get to create stuff more. I get to learn and implement stuff more. Um, and also in the gym where I'm going to get to change my training style a little bit and challenge myself for some different kinds of training. So um, that's, you know, generally the point that I'm trying to make with you guys here. I hope that makes sense. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for today. I've not, not got an awful lot. I just kind of wanted to get off my chest. That's the 50th episode of our podcast all wrapped up. I hope you've enjoyed it so far. If you have, please drop a review on Apple Podcasts or Spotify Podcasts. Or if you listen to this on YouTube, then drop a comment. I've had some comments from you guys recently, which have been really cool. And don't forget to subscribe and follow the podcast on all the various platforms. Um, drop me a message or a follow over on Instagram at andyconnets01. I'd love to hear from you over there as well. And um, yeah, let me know you think i hope this made sense hope this was a, a, a bit of a thought-provoking episode um don't forget to head over to musclebuildingmastery.net forward slash training mastery to check out the training mastery video course with tons of different ideas of your how to um go about a training style that will um get you to where you want to be as well as help you to enjoy the process at the same time so i hope you enjoyed that guys and i will speak to you next time on the muscle building mastery podcast if you're ready to stop wasting time in the gym and start mastering the skill of muscle building, go check out www.musclebuildingmastery.net to download your free six-week muscle building workout plan. I have specifically formulated this workout plan to take you through the three stages of mastering your body, layering on a more advanced training methodology each week as you progress. That means that regardless of where you are with your training right now, this plan will push you forward and help you stack on more muscle and strength in just six weeks. So head to www.musclebuildingmastery.net now to grab your free six-week workout plan.